Hi right, Joanna. So a couple of little things to get to today in this one. First of all is those open B and E string chords, right? Where we take an E major shape, just like that, right? Switch it around so the index finger is free. Now, what we normally do, let's say we want an A, right? So normally we'd bar the whole thing and there's A major because we've got E, no E sharp, so F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. But what sometimes sounds good is if you lift, keep keep it down here, but lift up your finger here to leave the open, leave the B and E strings open. So, so maybe fifth fret, try third fret. Every now and then think about if I'm if you're on the tenth fret here, then what chord are you playing? Right? So well we know this one's A already, so because we, we established that already, so instead of bothering to go all the way up from here, we'll just start here. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. Okay. So just throw those around a little bit. So here's the end of Under the Bridge by Chili Peppers. Here's a good example of it, right? So you've got A, fifth fret, eighth fret, third fret, first fret, okay? So that's that's one thing. Next thing was a new riff, right? So we have the open E string. Now we can go down to drop D for this if you want as well, but it doesn't really matter. You can do it in any tuner. So we've got a pick hammer pull on each chord. Third fret, fifth fret, sixth, fifth, and repeat. Okay, now remember, it's a riff, so you never just play it once. Always repeat it a couple of times, and anybody listening should be able to do that along with it, okay? So the rhythm has to be nice and steady, okay? Now, finally, we've got that B, 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 B tuning, right? So where we tune every string on the guitar to a B. A B, whatever. Okay, so... So here's how it's done. So we've got E there, roughly. We're going to bring this, so the sixth string goes down to a B. Because remember, you can go down to a B, or up to a B as well. But we're going to bring this one. But if you were to tune this string up that high, probably break it. Well, you could break it, but you'd bend the guitar out of shape and all that. So we don't want to do that. So down we go. B flat. There. Okay, there we go. Now remember, tuning all the other ones is going to put this one right back out of tune. So there's no point in doing it accurately the first time, okay? That's... Just get it roughly first. A goes up to B. About there will do. D goes down to B. Okay, roughly there will do. G, I think we said we'd bring that down to B as well. So so you could go G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. So there's a B note, but you're tuning it up four frets now past where it's normally supposed to be. So you might break it doing that. So we'll go down to B. Now that's pretty loose, but it'd probably be too tight. Now this one... Now you see the way the guitar was in tune, but now that I get to this one, this one's gone way up. So that's because tuning other strings by a lot will affect the rest of the strings as well. So that's why there's no point in doing it accurately the first time. E goes down to B. Okay, now, so let's check the other ones again. So, leaving this a little bit too low is a good idea because, see, whenever I hit it, it goes up. Right, so we'll leave it set a little bit lower than we normally would. There's our next B. There we go. 
Now we can start being a little bit more accurate with it. There we go. Okay, so the G string is really loose when it's like this. So this is the only string that's still where it normally is. And... Okay, so I think we're nearly set, so one more check. So this is a little bit lower and we want that for this one. Perfect. Perfect. Well, pretty much. There we go. All right. with that okay it's an interesting one now I'm gonna have to tune this back up again all right I'll talk to you next time